In this episode, fellow cruisers will be talking about their ocean crossing experience. If you enjoy our cruising conversations, please subscribe and turn your notifications on. Thank you. Well, if you are talking about the ocean crossings, then they're both downwind, trade wind routes. So the Atlantic, whether it's Canaries Caribbean or Cape Verde Caribbean, it's really a downwind route. The wind's behind you. You're sailing in the trade winds, obviously outside of the hurricane season. Wind speeds may typically be between 15 and 25 knots, maybe gusting gale force, but from behind you. Um, and the same in the, uh, in the Pacific. Uh, so really there's no, if you're sailing in the right season, there's no reason for it to be particularly dangerous, um, but you are obviously sailing a long way from shore, so you need to be able to cope with situations where there may be no outside help. But you should not be encountering um, very, very bad weather because you're outside of the hurricane and cyclone seasons. We didn't cross the Atlantic because we came down the Pacific uh, West Coast. I think the, the name Pacific Ocean is completely wrong. It's I think it's uh, one of the most uh, un-Pacific un uh, oceans that, that exist on the world. Here in the South Pacific uh, we had some uh, rough weather situations, especially around uh, New Zealand here, but also uh, from the Easter Island to uh, Gambier. Sailing the Pacific was more comfortable than sailing the Atlantic, because in the Atlantic we had more wind, more thunderstorms, real big squalls, twice, with a lot of wind and uh, a lot of high winds, and the whole Pacific, we didn't see that. Yeah, we had sometimes a few hours, but no, not in a way there was some of The Pacific was quite uh, relaxed. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, relaxed. Like right? Well, we, sailing across the Pacific for us was awful, because we sailed across the North Pacific, and it was freezing and it was stormy and on, on the clipper race, yeah. On, on, it's on, on the clipper race. Well, um, well we crossed the well, Atlantic the, three times, didn't we, on the yeah. clipper race? I, I would say, yeah, the Pacific was, is, is a bigger beast, um, definitely, uh, and it's further to cross it. Um, I wouldn't recommend crossing the North Pacific. No way. Uh, as we did. Yes. Yeah, we won't do that again. Uh, the Atlantic can be really nice. Uh, the times we crossed it was was nice. Were nice times. So we didn't cross the Atlantic, <laughs> and uh, our passage across the Pacific was a very easy sail. It was perfect winds all the way, and for us it was not very hard. The Pacific, but we heard that there's more squalls and stuff other places, and we didn't have very many squalls either. We had a pleasant, nice sail. Yeah, far well. The Atlantic is. Uh... It's, for me, it's different, a different ocean. It's uh, it's not uh, like the same as on the Pacific. The Atlantic was all the time the wind from behind, the waves from behind, and every day the same condition. I had some squalls on the Pacific. I, maybe I never had it. Some squalls. Every five hours, there's a big squall, big cloud coming. On the Atlantic. On the Atlantic, but the Pacific was different. Uh, but I like both. The Atlantic it's, uh, it can be livelier, uh, the wind can be stronger than the Pacific, the waves tend to get uh, bigger, of course, with more wind, but you have uh, constant conditions. Most of the time you have constant winds from behind, and this usually uh, means good speed and good progress. And the squalls in the Atlantic are more powerful, stronger, with lightning, uh, very violent wind, uh, and this is the cause for a lot of uh, boat failures and damages on uh, on yachts. The Pacific, it's more uh, subtle. Uh, the squalls can creep on you without too much warning. They're not as violent, but uh, they can also create a lot of uh, a lot of damage. Uh, the waves. Uh, along the equator where most of the cruisers uh, sail are not as big as the Atlantic for sure. My experience sailing across the two oceans is 
a bit different from Thorin's. Sailing across the Atlantic is more straightforward than sailing across the Pacific. Um, for two reasons. The Pacific is immense. The conditions that you, in, you would encounter in the eastern side of the Pacific are completely different than the conditions in the western side of the Pacific. Um, we also had um, varying winds, so the, the trade winds would not be constant as um, in the Atlantic because we have winds coming from all directions on our passage from, um, Galapagos, from Galapagos to the Marquesas, Marquesas. Um, and also you have to put up uh, with the lack of wind on the eastern side of the Pacific or with too much wind in the western side of the Pacific where you have the South Pacific Convergence Zone that messes up the area. So I would say that sailing across the Atlantic is more straightforward even if the squalls are stronger but sailing across the Pacific is not as straightforward because it's a very very vast ocean. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe, comment, give us the thumbs up and share. Thank you.